Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about everything that I was loving for the month of November. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. It is Vlogmas, so a new video will be coming out every single day until Christmas. Definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of those videos. All right, let's get into it. We're officially in the last month of 2020, which I'm sure... The majority of you are so happy that this nightmare is finally going to be over. But what I would love to do in this video is spam the comments with the thing that you are the most grateful for in 2020. I know that it has been full of a lot of awful things, but I know that every single person, if you woke up with air in your lungs, you have something to be grateful for. So I would love for our whole comment section to just be full of all the positivity for 2020. So leave something positive down below. And yeah. This is our last favorites of the year, although I will be doing my full yearly best of beauty favorites, which will be coming towards the end of the month. If you've been here for any amount of time, then this first one will be no surprise to you. You guys know I have a jewelry business and I recently rebranded it. And the rebrand is like my absolute favorite thing. One of my favorite things of the entire year. It used to be called With Love Sarah. It is now called SB, which is just my initials SB spelled out. So E-S-S-B-E. The website is shopsb.com. It's a ton of the same jewelry that you've come to love, but it's also a ton of new releases. So I'm just gonna show a couple of those to you. This is the new Crescent Horn necklace, and I also have the thick Huggies on. These I just cannot get enough of. They're so, so simple, and they're easy to clasp on and off, but they make a little bit of a statement, which I love that. I don't like... I don't know. I don't like super huge statement earrings all the time, but I also like if my smaller earrings can pack a little bit of a punch so you can still see them. So personal opinion, but love those. This is the leaf necklace, which I just love the details of this. It is backwards. Here we go. And then this is the skinny paper clip necklace. What I love about this one is that you can clip it anywhere. So you can clip it at the very end or you can make it shorter and clip it here you could even wrap it around your wrist and clip it you know wherever and have a little bit of chain hanging down so i love how versatile this is it's just one of my favorite pieces of the new collection this is my bracelet stack for the day so i have two of the emily bracelets on these are new and improved i have new gold filled beads instead of gold plated beads this is the Emily with the compass charm in the gold. I love this. And then one of the disc bracelets. And these are just some of the other new releases from the necklace collection. I'm just so, so happy with the entire rebrand. We have a new name, new logo, new website, new products, new everything. And I'm just so proud of it and so happy. So that is that. All of those items will be linked below. New products, new everything. And I'm just so proud of it and so happy. So that is that. All of those items will be linked below. Next from Buxom is this lipstick. It's the Full Force Lipstick in the shade Heartthrob. This is what I have on today. This is my perfect nude. They just came out with, with this set of 90s nudes, and there's a nude that is probably perfect for you, but this is a just a classic lipstick formula. So it is not matte, it's not transfer proof, it's just a really good, it's hydrating, it's a little bit sheeny, and it will transfer. If you kiss somebody or if you rub your lips up against something it fades naturally it's just one of those really good classic lipsticks but it's super comfortable and the color is just beautiful so i've worn this basically every single day since i got it next up are these silk scrunchies this one has been living on my wrist for a few weeks now um, i originally started using this one this one came in a pack of four it has like a little holiday ornament package but they come in all different packages of different amounts different colors patterns the whole deal uh, but they are these silk scrunchies and these what i love about them is that they are so stretchy that one they don't crease your hair or damage it or anything the silk is really good for your hair health and i just love that i don't know i can wrap it around my hair so many times and it looks cute if i do like a half up messy bun because you can still see the scrunchie i just think that it adds something to your hair without it being like a giant bow or something extravagant it's like a good everyday just like pop of color and texture and i love that you can sleep in these and they won't damage your hair if you have not had this yet you can thank me later 
This is the Rudolph's mix, trail mix that comes out around the holidays. It is just like outrageously delicious. Uh, it has chocolate covered cereal, graham bites, M&Ms, and peanut butter cups. So yeah, go ahead and thank me later. It's from Target. It is just, I have not opened it because I'm gonna talk about it in my stocking stuffer gift guide. I feel like this is like the world's best stocking stuffer and if everyone could put one in my stocking, that'd be lovely. But um, I know that if I open it, it will just be gone. So I'm trying really hard not to open it yet. And I know that they come out with these for every season. They're just different ones. They had a bunch of fall ones and then now obviously they have the Christmas ones and there's a few others as well. But this one is just, I don't, this one's just my favorite one. All right, this is a semi-random one considering we're talking about November, but these sunglasses, I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale back in August and I absolutely love them. They're different than most of my other sunglasses and they have this kind of like rectangle frame. Well, I saw that these are on clearance for $25, which is insane because they just launched over the summer and normally their styles are around for at least a year. So I don't know if this just means I have really terrible taste and the item that I love so much is not cool anymore and so it's on clearance or maybe they made too many. I have no idea what the deal is, but I love these. I think they're amazing and for $25, you just can't beat the price. I go through phases with my makeup and I've been in a phase with this. It's the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. The colors of this are just absolutely beautiful. There's not a color in here that I wouldn't use. I mean like this one, I'm probably not using all the time, but everything else, they're just really good everyday shades. They're colors that I can just throw on my lids and go and I just absolutely love them. And I feel like the transition shades are really good like these, these three I use almost every day and then this dark one I have smudged under my lower lash line as an eyeliner. I just can't say enough good things about this palette and this is one of those, a lot of times if I see a palette that has this many shades, there's quite a few in there that I wouldn't use and with this one, I truly like all of them. So I'm back on to using this. I feel like for my eyeshadow palettes, I just go through phases that I'll use the same palette every single day for like three months and then turn around and use a different palette every single day for the next three months. I'm just very much a creature of habit and this is the current palette that is in rotation. This is the Cheek Leaders palette from Benefit. It's the mini bronze squad, which I don't think that this exact palette is available anymore, but I wanted to talk about Hoola. If you can't tell what's being the most used in here, I've gone through multiple pans of Hoola. It is just the best bronzer. And I feel like, again, I go through phases with this where I use it all the time and then I kind of forget about it and then I'm back to using it. And this is just my favorite contour shade ever. I use it with either this, which is the Ego Tools Define Brush, which this comes in a two pack. I can leave it down below, but it's just that perfect size and shape to fit right here. And then, you know, the 3C method, or I use the smaller end of my Hourglass Veil Powder Brush. But these are my two contour brushes and this is just so good. So it's a really nice neutral. It also comes in Hoola Light. So if you're a little bit lighter than I am, you might want to use that color. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. It's a nice neutral undertone so you can contour but it doesn't make you look dead and it's not too warm that you look orange. So this is just such a good bronzer. I am I need to start using these other uh, colors because I'm flying through the Hoola and this palette is gonna be very lopsided if I continue. Next is a newer discovery to me. This is the Laura Mercier Eyebrow Gel and I have quite a few brow gels that I really like, but this one is just standing out to me lately. I love how big the brush is on this. All of my other brow gels are, the brush is like half the size of this. So this one is like a full mascara wand. I already have brow gels, so my brows are a little bit stiff already, but I just love this. I feel like it keeps my brows in place all day and it just, it's so easy to apply. I can do it so quickly. When some of the other brushes are so small, I feel like I'm brushing through forever and this one just works so well. And they also have a couple of other options that are colored if you don't want the clear brow gel. I want to talk about my sweatshirt really quick. It just says Mary and it comes in, I wanna say white as well. This sweatshirt is just 
the coziest thing. I've been living in it. I've been wearing it for a lot of my gift guides and holiday content because I just think it's so good. But this brand has so many cute graphic tees and sweatshirts and so many good ones for the holidays. So I figured I would mention it while I'm wearing it today. And it does fit true to size. It's just a regular sweatshirt. So it has the band on the bottom, which I'm actually going to cut off in a few minutes. I like to cut off the band just to make it a little bit more flowy. It's easier to front tuck and I just like it better. And then lastly is this cozy beanie. I have a similar one from last year from the same retailer and the one from this year is just as cute. It comes in this shade in black and in this cute beige color. I have to like scrunch down but I love the little palm and I just love how like chunky and oversized this is. I think that it is the cutest beanie. And these were super, super popular last year, so they sold out quickly. If you're interested in this year's version, I would definitely get your hands on it. Um, and it does come in the three neutral colors, so there's something for everyone. Alrighty, guys, those are all of my November favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you were loving for November down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.